Good morning, West Side. Psalm 63 says, O oh God, you are my God, earnestly I seek you. My soul thirsts for you, my, my flesh faints for you, as in a dry and weary land where there is no water. So I have looked upon you in the sanctuary, beholding your power and glory, because your steadfast love is better than life, my lips will praise you. So God, that's our, that's our cry this morning, is, is even in these dry lands, even in these weary places, Father, we look to you because you have hope for us. And God, we thank you. We praise you this morning. This is my prayer in the desert. When all that's within me feels dry.
Psalm 145, I will extol you, my God and King, and bless your name forever and ever. Every day I will bless you and praise your name forever and ever. Great is the Lord and greatly to be praised, and his greatness is unsearchable. Father, we do worship you in spirit and truth. We love you, God, and we want to just open up our hearts right now. We set our heart and our mind on you. We put aside every distraction, Father God, that's trying to pull us. And we focus our attention on you, God. You deserve that and so much more. You deserve that and so much more, God. You are here. You are here. I believe it. I know it.
sing all the earth. Mm, and all the earth will shout your praise. Our hearts will cry. These bones will sing. Before this day slips away, God, we want to stop and tell you, God, that we love you. We worship you. We'll never get this day back, so we want to spend it all on you, God. We want to spend it mindful of you. Father God, we thank you, Lord Jesus, that of all things, Lord, that, that are ahead of us, Lord, that hope is one of them. Church, there's a time coming in the future. The word says that uh, we were just singing about all the earth will shout your praise. There's coming a time, according to scripture, it says that uh, every knee shall bow and every tongue shall confess. And Danny was talking about getting time to go is not time to get ready. Uh, I, I tease my family a lot, even from up here, about their lack of time management when we're going somewhere. It's a true story. I'm not making any of that up. 
but you need to be ready. And, and we're getting ready to sing a song that's called Let the Redeemed Say So. And there's a lot of power in what you say because the word says this, by your words, say my words, my words, am I justified or, I'm, or am I condemning myself? And here's the way my parents did things. They were very cut and dry. They, they didn't, like when it was instructional time, they were no nonsense. And I, I, I do great with that. that. That's, hey, just shoot it to me straight, okay? I have these girls, one's almost 12 and one's nine, and they take instruction poorly. <laughs> you can laugh to keep from crying, but here's the deal. I told Marcia this this morning, I'm putting forth effort here. I didn't realize when we had children how much instruction they needed, constantly. Daily, morning, night, constant instruction. And they, and they don't listen very well. And see, here's the thing. This is what they'll do. So there will be a behavioral issue and you'll try to address it and they will try to turn it on that somehow the reason they did that is my fault. I'm like, no, that's not, that's called a victim. No, and we don't do that here. You need to own up to what you did. We still love you. We're not gonna kick you to the curb. But it ain't your mom's fault that that happened and it's not my fault. If it was my fault, I'd tell you. So here's the situation. My parents would tell me something and you might ask them why. And this is their response, because I what? I said so. Let the redeemed say so. A lot of you are questioning the things of God, wanting to know why, why this or why that. Why should we have hope? Because he said so. Why should we have peace moving forward? Because he said so. You might not understand the route he's going to go, and that's okay. You need to have a simplistic faith and take it like a child and says, yeah, because you said so. All right. Then we're moving forward. Right. I don't understand how this is going to work, God. That's okay. But he said so. He said you could have peace. He said you could have joy. He said you could have, uh, the, the word says that everything you need for life and godliness is found in the knowledge of him. And one of the, one of the ways you do that is doing and believing what he says. How are we going to have hope? Have you turned on the news? Because he said so. He said, it's just that simple. It's just that simple. So I say all that to say this. Take what he says at face value. Take what he says at face value. Father God, we thank you, Lord Jesus, for truth, Father God, that flows from your mouth, Lord. There's no, there's no other way, Lord. You're, you're incapable of lying. Father God, and there's somebody, Lord, this service or maybe next service is really struggling with things that are completely 100% out of their control. Lord, and, and, and what, what essentially they're struggling with is trust. Lord, maybe it's the control freak among us that, that is trying to maybe control or manipulate people that are completely out of their realm of influence. Lord, I just pray that we can let that go and trust in you. Lord, and why should we trust in you? Because you said so. Father God, we need to take the words that we say, Lord, and we need to start justifying ourselves of who we are, what we are, and where we're going. And quit condemning ourselves by what we say. Lord, if it weren't true, your word wouldn't say life and death is in the power of the tongue. Lord, help us to... Uh, Help us to be coachable, Lord. I tell my girls all the time, neither one of you are coachable. You need to listen to what we're telling and apply that. Lord, help us, help us to have that same mindset with you. Even the parts that we don't like, to be coachable. To try to, see, Lord, we don't need to mold you to fit us. We need to mold us to fit you. God, we thank you for who you are, Father. God, we thank you that hope is before us. We thank you that, that, Lord, we can live in joy and peace and strength and knowledge and wisdom and all the things, Father God, that, that you, that, that, that you uh, 
give us here on earth, Lord, not only salvation in the next life, Father God, but Lord, as Randy Owens once said, we can have steak on the plate while we wait, Father God, and we thank you for that. Ushers, as you come, Lord, I pray that you'll bless this offering, add names to our book, of, to your book of life, Father God, because when it's all said and done, that's what matters, Father God, and we're going to believe what you say, and we're going to apply it this morning, Lord, in Jesus' name, amen.